right, guys. Happy uh, pre Fourth of July. It's pre Fourth of July Eve, I guess you could say. And being that I have a uh, that I mentioned Fourth of July, I got a story for you. This is a true story, by the way, 100% accurate. So let's rewind the clock a little bit back to about 1980. It was 80 or 81. I was either 11 or 12 years old. And we'd always go to, at that time I was going to Garden City, you know, schools. And I wasn't quite in high school yet. But the fireworks were being held on this rainy 4th of July back in 80 or 81 at the Garden City High School. And uh, it was a, the big attraction, lots of parking, thousands of people, big deal, you know. Been like that for years. So, we get there. Uh, at this point, you know, my brother is about eight, nine or eight and a half, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, I'm 11 or so. And, um, You know how you watch the fireworks shoot into the sky and you see the little tail of light on the firework as it starts climbing upwards and upwards and upwards and you wait for it to blow up? Well, being that it was rainy and soggy out, uh, I started noticing a lot of them weren't going off. And then you could actually see them just fall. And they would fall down onto, there was a bunch of tennis courts outside the high school where they had the, uh, you know, the fireworks show. So, and this went on throughout the whole night, a couple hours worth, you know. Must have been uh, 15 or 20 duds, you know, give or take. So I went down there. Uh, at the time, you know, we, we would sit on milk crates, you know, as kids, you know, outside my, my dad's pickup truck. And uh, so I grabbed my milk crate, grabbed my brother, we went down to the tennis court, you know, pitch dark out, and uh, these dud fireworks were falling from the sky onto the tennis court. Multiple tennis courts. They got five or six here. It, it, it's a big thing. Anyway, so we're scouring, you know, the, you know, searching the uh, tennis courts, and we pick up all these unexploded fireworks, you know, all official, these are the real deal, not the stuff you buy at Walmart, you know, in the parking lot. This is uh, the Big Daddy stuff. And, uh, all right, so we bring them home. You know, it's really late at night now. It's about 11 o'clock or so. You know, when you're a kid, it's bedtime, blah, blah, blah. It was a weekend, I believe, so no school. Well, it was summer anyway, but uh, the deal was is uh, I thought, you know, after talking with my brother with, like, zero knowledge, I thought it'd be a great idea to, uh, hey, let's pour, put these in the street, soak them in gas, and light them on fire. So that's exactly what we did. So we put about five over six of them out in the street, poured some gasoline on them from the lawnmower, and uh, ran in the house, grabbed a box of the Ohio Blue Tip stick matches, and then it was game on. So, uh, it, by the way, the roads that we, you know, this I lived right at a corner at the corner of Roslyn and Moeller. Okay, just a city residential, you know, we had a corner house right at the corner. And uh, so, brand new asphalt. You know, about 20 city blocks. You know, it was a big undertaking, multi-year project. Just got finished, brand new asphalt. So we put all these fireworks just in random spots in the road and poured some gas on them. And uh, I went around and struck some matches on the side of the box and threw them on the each of the fireworks. And then we we ran for the hills. Well, once you know it, every single one of them went off. Fireworks shooting everywhere, right at this quiet little neighborhood town, middle of the night. Uh multiple colors just like you see at the regular you know the booms and bangs and the whole deal within minutes police fire department ambulance multiple police and uh there was no no <laughs> no no sign of my brother or myself as soon as we heard the sirens we were like uh-oh 
But that is a true story. Nobody got hurt. Nothing got burned down. You know, thank Jesus for that one. But uh, that is a true story. I'll never forget it for as long as I live. And that's my 4th of July story. I hope you guys have a safe one. And, uh, yeah, just don't bring the unexploded ones home and put them in gas, you know. I actually soaked a few of them in a little pail of gas, I believe. Because they were kind of wet. I think they just didn't go off because they were moist. You know, they fizzled out. But, uh, <laughs> you had some accelerant there and it was game on. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. Ain't that America?